Well, Saturday marks the 20th anniversary of 9 11, and this week we've been sharing stories as we remember that day. And one person on our 8 News Now team has a personal connection to someone who was on the front lines. The I Team's Vanessa Murphy here now with a very special person to her. Vanessa? Yeah, Denise, like many Las Vegas locals, I didn't grow up here. I'm originally from New York. That's where most of my family is, including my grandfather, who helped take care of some of the 9 11 victims. He's in Queens, New York, so we talked on Zoom about his experience. Well, it's like, it's like a war zone. This is my grandfather, Dr. James Mazzara. At 83 years old, he's now retired. But on September 11, 2001, he was chief of clinical cardiology at St. Vincent's Hospital in New York City. We were a mile and a half north of the uh, Twin Towers. He was heading a fellowship program at the time, and he recalls receiving word during a teaching conference. The uh, chief resident came in and said a plane had crashed into the one of the twin towers. They prepared to treat patients. The team first thought what was unfolding was an accident, but then the second plane hit the second tower. Uh, and that's when things look, looked more, more ominous at the time. Patients arrived with trauma injuries from debris that had fallen. Some had respiratory symptoms. Many were covered in dust. He says this continued through most of the day, and he slept at the hospital that night. And things start, started to slow down, and that was a sign to us that uh, things were not looking good. The realization, many did not survive. These were you know, innocent people, almost 3,000 non-military people who had their lives destroyed, their families changed uh, forever. And many of those families posted notes as they searched for their loved ones, hoping they would turn up safe at places like St. Vincent's. You know, it was a, a tragic time. Like many New Yorkers and Americans, for my grandfather, the 20th anniversary of 9-11 stirs up emotions and memories that are difficult to accept. From the floor we were on in the hospital, we could actually see one of the towers with billowing smoke uh, coming from it. Uh, so, I mean, I'll, I'll, always, I'll always remember that. Makes you think how, how fragile life is. St. Vincent's Hospital was a level one trauma center, considering this and its close proximity to the World Trade Center. That's why many patients were brought there. The hospital closed in 2010, and that's when my grandfather retired. Today, at the site of the World Trade Center, there's a 9-11 memorial and museum.